prison, I There's aught I'd ask of you. A personage of great esteem is to return from Batal to Vermin. I speak of Sir Augustine. He is a noble and the leading voice of opposition against the Queen Regent. Your aid is requested in guarding his ox cart as it travels the high road. As a potential ally to your cause, it would do you no favors if he were to come to harm. I trust he will cooperate. And bear in mind that this is a matter of the utmost secrecy. Not even the captain of the guard has been informed of it. You have your orders. Read them and follow them to the letter. Let us do everything in our power to render aid to those in need. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor... <coughs> we have found the material. About time you showed up. We've been waiting for you. Our mission is simple. Sir Augustine will board the ox cart. We must safeguard it from would-be assailants till it reaches its destination. See to it that none approach. The Queen Regent's supporters will come for Sir Augustine's head. Of this, we can be certain. Oh, a quiet day is a welcome. Come along now. What was that sound? Who's there? Hold a moment. I'll be handling Augustine's escort from here. Foul brigand! We shan't allow Sir Augustine to fall prey to the likes of you! There's no need for theatrics. I know your aim here. Ah, here's a surprise. We met at the tavern, remember? Fair warning, cuz. This craven isn't worthy of your trust. He speaks madness. Subdue him at once, ere he injures our noble charge. Why, if tisn't Sir Ragnall. You lost all sense. You believe me then? That's a bit of a relief, actually. Thanks, cuz. Curse you! All that planning and. for what? Phew! I appreciate the confidence, cuz. It was a welcome surprise. But I can't linger here, I'm afraid. My apologies for this. Follow after me if you can. Succeed, and I'll share the truth of all of this. We meet again. Hoy there. I take it you lost your footing as well? You seem to have fared better than I did. 
I took the fall for Augustine, only to find myself waist deep in monsters. Still, so long as he escaped, I'd wager that makes this a job well done. Speaking of, I was to tell you the truth behind all of this, wasn't I? I'll be glad to oblige you, of course, but we ought to get moving first. What say I explain while we search for an exit? Hmm. I suppose that's how it goes. Time to get to work. <laughs> Not bad. From what I've seen of your skills during that mess in the tavern and today's business, I can say you're really something, and my word ought to carry a fair bit of weight, considering my reputation as a warrior of unparalleled skill. Turns out, as a sellsword proves himself, the list of those who can afford his services grows shorter and comes to be written in finer ink. Makes for a duller life, though I can't say I have any complaints about the weight of my pockets. <laughs> Still, I hunger for a real battlefield where a single misstep spells death. I crave the simplicity of it. There's naught else like it. The clashing of bodies and wills. I'd not say no to a fight with you. Let's have at it when I'm all healed up, eh? <laughs> Mayhap, I'll not give you a choice in the matter. <sighs> I'm not sure what's brought me here. I suppose I'll have a few drinks and hit the hay. That escort mission was a trap concocted entirely for your benefit, you know. It was supposed to give those responsible a means to incriminate you. But Augustine is no fool. He had his doubts about his summons to Vermin and hired me to watch over him in an unofficial capacity. So I looked into the cart that would be escorting him and lo and behold, I found your name. But wasn't on the list of hired guards, oh no. Rather, your name was on the list of persons to be on guard for. In short, you had been called in to act the part of the culprit. Mark my words, if you carried on with them, Augustine would have been slain and you would have been held responsible. You'd not have stood a chance against all that if it hadn't been for me. Aye, methinks I've earned my pay this time. And then some. I protected my charge and got you away from the scene without your being branded a murderer and thrown in jail. Now all that remains is to escape this place. I expect we'll find a way out soon enough, if we only press on. Still, I've got to wonder where this craven plot came from and what you did to warrant it. One thing's for certain, you must have powerful enemies in Vermin. But why? This is not as though you're the Arisen True. What? You are the Arisen. Ha! <laughs> this is a small world indeed. You've piqued my interest even further, cuz. I've no business here. Best I hit the road. <laughs> Right, let's press on. Judging from the flow of air here, the exit can't be far. Well, this is a 
vital for a place to be cut short. At least you made it out all right. Don't worry, cuz. I'll be fine on my own. After all, I can't afford to die here. We haven't had- We'll see each other again. You can count on that. And when we do, you'd best be ready for the fight of your life. We are reunited at last, Master. I do hope you encountered no trouble in the cave. All done, then. He wishes to gaze upon a griffin first hand.